Shopify has released its newest sales channel, Shopify Collective, and it allows you to sell other people's products on your website. And at the same time, other people can sell your products on their websites. So let's say that you're a yoga brand and you focus on clothing, for example, leggings and tops, but you think that your audience will also benefit from yoga mats, but you don't sell those. So now what you can do is find a good company that sells yoga mats get those products, import them into your store, and when someone buys from your store one of those yoga mats, that order goes directly to the other company where they can ship it. So every time you sell a yoga mat, you will earn a portion of the sales price. So you will earn the margin. The company will put their prices and give you a specific margin. So every time you sell something, you will get paid the margin and Shopify sends the remainder of the payment to the other company that actually fulfilled the order. So I know what you're thinking. Hey man, that's basically dropshipping. But no, Shopify doesn't call it dropshipping. In fact, in their entire presentation, they never mentioned the word dropshipping once. They explained what you will be able to do with the app and how it works and basically gave the entire definition of dropshipping. But they were very careful not to say it because Shopify has a love-hate relationship with dropshipping. On the one hand, they love all the new users that they get from people starting a Shopify store just to try dropshipping. But at the same time, they wanna get away from dropshipping and all of the bad connotations that it has and focus more on brands that want to sell online. And also, I see this as an opportunity for them to start connecting all of the stores and make like a mega Shopify store. So I think that in the near future, Shopify is gonna end up making a huge marketplace with all the products from all these independent stores and it will just basically compete against Amazon. But let's go back to Shopify Collectives because I have a lot to show you. I'm gonna show you how to access it. I already got access as a supplier and I'm gonna show you how everything works. I'm gonna show you the minimal requirements that you will need. And we'll go over all the quirks and features of this new sales channel. Hey guys, it's the Econ Bull here. Let's get started in three, two, one. Ah. All right, so to access Shopify Collectives, you're gonna go to this landing page and I'm gonna leave it in the description of the video. Now, this app is free if you have a Shopify store. If you don't have a Shopify store yet, or if you're making a new one, I'm also leaving a link in the description to a special Shopify deal where you can get a free trial of Shopify and also three months for only $1 per month. Now, once you're here, it's gonna ask you if you are a retailer or if you are a supplier. If you're a retailer, it means that you want to have other people's products on your website. And if you're a supplier, it means that you want to have your products on other people's websites. If you're a retailer, it will be an app. And if you're a supplier, it will be a sales channel. We're gonna see both of them. So very simple, you just click here on Get Retailer App and it will add it to your apps here in your Shopify store. The same way if you are a supplier, just go here and get supplier app and it will add it right here as a sales channel. You see, collective supplier is a sales channel and collective retailer is an app. Now let's go over the requirements. So if you want to be a retailer, your shop has to be based in the US and you have to sell in dollars. You also need to have Shopify payments activated and you need to have made at least $50,000 in the last 12 months. And if you want to be a supplier, it's basically the same requirements, but you also have to be active on the shop app and meet shop merchant guidelines. Now let's get set up as a supplier. So on the collective supplier sales channel, you're gonna go to the settings. And the first thing that you want to do is adjust your shipping rates. In my case, I'm charging $5 for domestic shipping, $15 to Canada and to the rest of the world, I do not want to ship. And keep in mind that these are the settings only for the collective supplier sales channel, okay? This will not affect your actual shipping settings on your Shopify store. Now, the next thing that you want to activate is the discovery, okay? Make sure it is on because you will be able to grow your business by making your store discoverable to retailers using the supplier discovery feature on their collective app. All right, so make sure that is on so you get a bunch of stores that are gonna sell your products. And finally, make sure that you add a referral page to your storefront. So this is your referral page link. You're gonna copy it. You're gonna click on add to navigation. I'm gonna put it on the footer and I'm gonna make a special link that will be become a distributor. I'm going to go ahead and paste 
the link and apply changes. They make sure you click on save, so it saves the changes. Now let's check it out. So I'm gonna refresh the page. Let's scroll all the way down. So on the footer section, I have a link to become a distributor and then it will go to the Shopify collective page where they can connect and request to sell my products. Okay, you see now it opened the collective retailer app, right? That's how people will ask to sell your products. And once you approve a few retailers, they will appear on the retailers page right here. Now, the next thing that you have to do is create a price list. All right. So create price list, select a title, for example, tier one t-shirts only. Now you're going to select what kind of margin you're willing to give away. So I'm going to put 30%. And now you're going to select which retailers have access to this price list. All right. So you will click on assign access and you will select from all the retailers that apply to you. You're going to select which ones can sell those products at that margin. All right. And now here is where you select the products that you're going to put on that price list. Now let's go to retailers because we have one application to review and it was actually myself. So I don't know how this can happen. Like I requested to sell products as a retailer of my own shop, but whatever, at least I can show you how this works. So let's say I want to check out this application. All right, I'm going to accept it. And now that I accepted this store to sell my products, I can go and manage the price list and I'm going to add this one right the one that we just created to that store just imagine that this is a different store and not mine right this is probably gonna make a black hole inside of the shopify servers because now we're gonna go to collective as a retailer and in here if we go to suppliers we can see that we have one supplier and we can click on the products that we want to add let's say for example this two we're gonna click on import products and you will be able to see the shipping rates of the supplier now, if you click import products one more time, those products will be added to your Shopify store and you can put them on any collection that you want, right? But I'm not going to click on import products because I don't want to open a portal to the fifth dimension, right? And break the entire Shopify server building. So, you know, just know that those products will be added into your Shopify. Now, you know what? You only live once, so I'm just going to click on... Guys, guys, I have little time to watch this next video because you're gonna help you to sell more. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like and subscribe. Ah.